Hey guys, it's Steven from Herbcare 101, and today we're going to make a review on the Tetraphonos Viquarium. So, let's begin with the water quality. The water quality stays like really clear, like it got real crystal clear real quick. It's like real good, filters real well. Uh, how it filters is water is taken in through that thing. Oop. Got a bit too close through the right here, and there is a filter cartridge in there. So yeah, inside of there, and then it goes through the gravel just to like get rid of any other like stuff in there, and then it comes out through the top of the waterfall and makes a nice river through the land and gives like nice water area here. Another thing I like about this is it keeps the whole tank real moist and real humid like the moss over here. Water evaporates through here and like will make the, uh, the moss real humid and also the waterfall makes good air humidity. And setup was pretty easy. All you have to do is, well you know we may make a setup video in the pretty distant future. Um, you just put in the base first, which is right here. And you put in the waterfall area and the river. And then you put in about 40 pounds of gravel. That's probably the one thing I don't like, the cost of all the gravel for it. But that's easy to ignore. Helps it filter well. Um, for overall look, I think it looks real natural and looks real nice, like, love how it has the river in it, like how it has the waterfall, and it makes a nice trickling sound, and keeps the water all nice, so yeah. And it looks good with basically any decor, like you could put cork bark in, which I have, leaves, which I also have, you can put like branches. You can even put live plants in it, which I haven't tried yet, but I'll probably try in the future. And it keeps a lot of animals well, like it has like capabilities for like turtles, firebelly toads, which I got, and a firebelly newt, which I also have. Now for the price, I got mine on Amazon for 80 bucks. I've seen some places selling it for like 120. I've seen some places is selling it for like 70, but with with the cheaper options, it usually gets sold out more quickly. So yeah, price is kind of expensive, but not bad if you find a good place. And I think that's about it. It's a real good product. I'd recommend it to you. And my toad just jumped into the water. It's climbing out onto land. Oh, that's another thing I could say. It has really good access for them to climb out of the water, like, it has the nice, like, ridges where you can see my one toad climbing out right now. It also has the river, which gets lower for, for them to climb out of if they can't climb up the big thing. And the water is, like, not strong enough for them to get washed away or anything. It's kind of a weak current for them. So, yep. Now, I haven't cleaned it just yet. Like, all I've had to do so far was, like, change the moss, but that was it. Um, a full cleaning, though, would probably be really hard because you got all the gravel in there, and it just seems like it would be a real challenge. I will make a video of that so that we can have it, like, set up and everything, but it seems like it would be real hard. Um, so safety... The water comes in through like really small holes in there, so they definitely can't get in there, and it's also like not strong enough to suck them halfway in there or anything. Now, um, however, in the waterfall, there is a pretty big hole in there, up there. And um, so far, none of my animals have gotten in there, but if you do have firebelly toads or newts living in here, well, by newts, I mean like a Chinese firebelly newt because they're smaller. They can probably get in there. So far, I haven't had anything like that. Obviously, a turtle or anything won't be able to get in there, but 
fire belly toads maybe. And also about your tank, your tank has to be at least 11 inches tall because the whole Vicarium itself is like 11 inches tall. And um, I recommend your tank to be 30 inches long so you got half land and half water. But it can be a bit shorter and obviously a lot longer. Um, and your tank needs to be, um, I, I'm not sure, it needs to be at least 12 inches wide. It can be wider, but you'd have to like maybe put some big rocks and stuff to keep like it half land and stuff and keep the gravel standing. And uh, basking. Where you see my one toad is sitting right now, but it's kind of going under the log, that area stays completely dry unless the um, animal makes it wet. So that's a good basking area for like turtles and stuff. And also the top of the waterfall stays perfectly dry as well. And But my toads don't climb up there as much. And yeah, that's about it. Something else is you, you can heat the water, obviously, by just putting in a heater. It won't mess up the filter or anything. And yeah, that's basically it. So, thanks for watching and subscribe.